Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we go grab a royalty-free font. Uh, it could be any kind of font. I decided to use this one and we just start replacing things in our game. So if we just have a quick look, uh, as you can tell, we modified a few things here. The stats name, they're good. And pretty much every single content of buttons, uh, except this one for some reason. But still, you just modify fonts and that's what we do today. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so today hopefully we'll have a faster episode, something really more uh, concise. And we're going to be doing fonts today because what we're really missing right now to our UI elements, our canvas, is really just a different font. So what I like to do when I'm actually looking for font is uh, head over to a thousand and one font.com which has some free commercial use fonts and uh, I just browse through that. Now I found one that I like and um, whenever you find a font that you like on this website it's really important just because copyright stuff is really just a, a nightmare. Um, it's really important that you just look at the license. So right here I found this one called uh, Kelly Slab Font. I'll just reload it really quickly. It's just some something like that. Um, and it's really important to actually look at the license. So over here it says free for commercial use. I'm just going to click on it. And as you can tell down here, it's free for commercial use, personal use, and uh, you can modify it. You can also redistribute it. So it's really important for me to have something that you can redistribute. This way I can actually include it inside of like a code box for the Patreon or something like that. Um, so if you plan on redistributing your game and it has this font, you need to have a license that is going to allow you to to do all that kind of stuff. Else, you might be in trouble. <laughs> Alright, good time. So, um, I have this right now, the Kelly Slab font, and what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to extract it, the uh, TTF file. I am going to extract it inside of my folder. So over here is Unity. Uh, I'm currently in which one am I? I'm in the copy version. Okay. In my folder, Assets, artwork, and I'm simply just going to leave it inside of the artwork. Then I've hit extract, and here it is. You can actually create a new folder for that if you wish, but I don't feel like I need one. And um, now you don't need to do anything else, it's just it's there, and you can start modifying your stuff right away. So if we head over to the menu scene, we can actually change a few things. Right here on the UI route, we're going to go under fade animation. Uh, the splash, there's a text in the splash. We don't need to modify this one because it's it's going to be gone eventually. Now the start button has some text in it and we can actually modify that to use our new font. And here it is, it's a little bit more classy, a little bit more defined. We also have an option for bold, idyllic and all that kind of stuff. So I'll be putting it on idyllic for this this guy. Um, and also the sizing of every single text you have in your, in, uh, your game is going to change now because the font is not exactly the same size and that's totally perfect. You get to play around it more and just make it look good. So right now the achievement, uh, we keep doing that for pretty much the rest of the episode. So guys, if you don't feel like watching this whole episode of me changing fonts in case you miss out on some, you can go ahead and click off the video and come back tomorrow when we do some more stuff. I don't know if we do have a video tomorrow. I think it's going to end up. No, tomorrow is Friday, so we don't have a video on, on Friday. Anyway, let's proceed and just keep changing all of these fonts. And every time I'm going to be removing the best fit whenever I can, so we can actually decide what kind of size we want this to be. And uh, as for these buttons, what I was thinking about is actually just rescaling them in height, making them a little bit smaller. Again, this is up to you and you just do whatever you feel like doing. But I think it would look cool if I actually took all of these buttons and just squeezed them down. Like They're going to be harder to hit, but hey, nice. And also reset save needs a spacebar, I think. Here it is. Alright, let's move on to the next scene, the menu scene, the hub scene, my bad. And now there is a lot of things to change in here, of course. So we're going to start with the share menu. And oh my god, there is so much things. <laughs> Alright, description first. I like this font, we can be resizing pretty much everything. And 
here we go, it makes a little bit more sense. That's a, a lot of text. Just make sure the last word actually fits inside of here. Maybe by modifying the font size to 28. And oh, that's perfect. Then you also get to change the color if you wish, so maybe in this case, um, I don't know what would contrast well with this. Let's keep it white. And if we just keep going down a little bit down there, we also have the watch ads. Um, in this case, what I'd like to do on these, on these ability containers is simply change the title, put it on our new font, but also put this on bold. Oh, and it's already on bold, okay. Well, that works then. And then you just get to modify the font size again and again and again. Might need to modify the height manually as well, but that's only part of it. And it seems like it's really hard to tell right now. We might need another font just for big headlines like that. Or maybe just use the default Arial font. It's really up to you. But a lot of the work is going to be done by resizing our assets a little bit and reducing or increasing the line spacing is also something else. Oh wait, it's actually in, in the wrong order here. There we go. Now we can hit apply on this and it's going to modify the one down there as well. Now they might not all fit and that's something um, a little bit messed up so that's why we use best fit I just remember now. So I go back to using best fit. Alright, I don't mind. And here we go. Alright, let's also modify it in the text down there. Now I know this looks really small but on an actual device it it looks fine so this is going to work. Description, that's also cool. Um, where is the actual button down there? Oh, the playlist button, here it is. And the text, we modified the text. Also modify the color. I like to have a color that hits on the high. Maybe like a red. Yeah, I'll just go for a red in this case. Put it on bold and idyllic. And increase the font size a bit. Maybe remove that space. Alright. So, again, something among, amongst these lines and you just play around and you just do what you feel is right. Because in the end you have the power to do whatever you feel like. This is really awful text. I think I'll change that with an icon eventually. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just change that with an icon. Alright, so share center, let's put that away. The tower stats menu. Um, there is some fonts, I mean there are some things that we might not want to change such as the numbers. I don't know if the numbers needs to have a different font. Let's actually check it out. Oh yeah, I do like that font actually for numbers. So we're gonna give you, we're gonna be keeping it as a bold or idyllic. Yeah, idyllic by itself is actually looking great. So every single number in this page is going to be changed except the level. So I will go down there in the stats container. We're gonna be opening up every single one of these again and we're massively going to be changing fonts. So, uh, let's go under the gold costs. Gold costs for every single one of those. So control click on every single one. Change that to our font. Now it's not going to fit, so you're gonna put it on best fit. 
you're also going to put it on Eilic. Alright, I do like that. I do like the fact that we have different font for these two things and they're next to each other. I think that looks good. And also available gold up there we can also change. Uh, so let's head back to the currency panel, available gold. But this one is going to be bold. Like this. Good times. Alright. Tower stats menu, we put that back on zero alpha. Let's head over to the war table. War table, we only have one text. Good times. We're going to be putting this on the new font as bold. And maybe lower it a bit. It doesn't feel right where it is right now. So maybe like minus 20. There we go. War table menu is completed. Research menu. Um, The research panel, is that a prefab? I think it is. Yeah, it is a prefab, so let's go ahead and just change a few things. The first thing is the research text up here. This can be a little bit bigger and also be on a bold font. And I wonder if there's like letter spacing in there I can use. Okay, since I don't seem to be able to like space the letters uh, one by one, I'll just put that on a normal font. And then inside of the research container is where we do all the rest of the magic. So, uh, research icon that's called description. Description is going to be our new font as best fit. Maybe reduce the width a little bit and just, we have a little bit more space on the left. So maybe I'll just move this towards the left side a little bit more. And uh, same thing goes for the title. Move it a little bit more on the left side. I mean, I, I think it is centered right now. It's pretty much a centered. Anyway, maybe give it some more height like this. And the tradesman, where is the tradesman? It's the title I was on it a second ago. We're going to be putting this on our new font. And uh, yeah. Or wait, we said that we were not going to be putting it on our best font. Our new font, sorry. So that's going to work. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the text we need to change here. So let's quickly check this out. We have the cost number one and the cost number two. Let's take the cost and just change that to our font. Put it as idyllic as well. That should actually be good to go. We click on the research container, hit apply, and it should reflect in the game as well. All right, that's pretty much it for the research menu. Put that on zero, move on to the next one, the loot menu. Oh god, okay, so there's a lot of things in here as well. Um, are they under prefab? I don't think they are. No, they're not. Okay, so description. Change the font of that. That's cool. I'll put it on best fit. And uh, it actually looks good. Oh wait, we, we're missing some text down there, so uh, maybe not put it on best fit. And we're simply going to be resizing the font here. Something among these lines with padding on the left and right side. All right. We'll find out a way to make this look good eventually. Now on the loot panel, every single one of these, we need to open them up. So like I just did right here, I've just selected everything, hold shift, and then right arrow twice and we get to see everything inside of them um, if we just keep pressing right arrow. Now what it is that we need to change? We need to change the loot title, the loot amount, and um, things that are inside of that as well. So I'll be just choosing everything again, spamming right clicks, I mean right arrows. So we just expand everything and we just select everything in a single go. So loot title, shift click, no sorry, shift, uh, control click on this loot amount. We're going to go for the cell amount as well. And I think that's it. That's the three texts we need to modify. So loot title, loot amount, cell amount. We do this 13 time and we should be good to go. Modifying all of this all at once. And this is why like integrating art 
is so much of a pain, so much manual labor if you don't plan it out properly. Um, just having prefabs would have worked like like a charm, but again, I'm sorry about that. I totally forgot about it. Right, let's change the font to our new font, and um, we can actually leave it like that, and it looks so much better for some reason. Wow, I do like that quite a lot. This is going to change massively the game. Loot menu, put that on zero. Ability menu, it should be changed here. Yeah, it's changed here as well. We don't need to do anything else. And um, that is where I'm going to end this episode today, guys. We've been changing a lot of fonts. Now, of course, we're really just tackling the menu in the hub right now, but eventually we'll have to, we'll have to cover the actual in-game stuff. And it's going to come eventually, but right now I'd like to just take care of the menu first. Oh, and before we actually end this, uh, the cloud error isn't changed. Let's actually change that as well. We should find it under the preloader, put it beneath our canvas. And we have the title over here. The title can um, now the title is going to be changed as well. So let's put that under a new font. It's being a little messed up right here, but it works. And description, same thing. Put it like that. Okay, now we're supposed to be completed. So um, I broke it. Hold on, preloader, remove it from the canvas. Here we go. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you guys learned something, if you did please leave me a like, really appreciate that, and if you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, please check out the Patreon page, there is reward and support me and stuff and good times, and um, I will see you guys in the next episode.